so this is part three of this uh, epic men of war battle I'm playing out and if you've seen the first part and second part you're going to know that I've secured the town and the Russian troops are now holding up in a position at the top side of the map I'm just engaging some lone guy there he's obviously one of the crew members of the Katusha truck I just engaged now the battles essentially won but what I want to do is clear the map of all Russian units and there's still like I say a significant complement of enemy forces in that top corner so what I need to do is, is roll forward all my remaining German units I've got some tank there that represents one of my backup tanks didn't move forward at the start of the battle which is good got some reinforcements to play with still and what I'm looking to do is end the Russian uh, units essentially just uh, obliterate them, annihilate them essentially so there's none left so I need to be careful about how I play this because I'm not entirely sure what's waiting for me up there um, there could be more Russian Katusha trucks there could be tanks or there just could be a mixture of infantry and trucks just don't know at this stage um, I like to not know so I don't just scroll the camera forward and you know check it all out so what I need to do the Hummel should come in quite quite effectively here because the Hummel's got a long range obviously I've still got the Jag Tiger so they're the two units that are really gonna make the difference I would have thought I'm kinda of scouting the map here for potential vehicles that I left behind that might still be mobile so I spot something here, a heavy tank destroyer well not a heavy one but a, a, a Jag Panther pretty heavy one, not like a Jag Tiger though but um, it's it's out of the, it's out of action because the uh, the uh, I've taken out the um, earlier in the battle the that initial engagement took out the the tracks so I call one of my repairmen an engineer to fix the tank so as you can see they're on the way now with the repair kit it's going to be a long walk but I want to at least know that it's in the pipeline essentially so I'm just lining up my units here what I want is the Hummel in a position where it can open up on the uh, Russian forces but I don't want it to get flanked so what I'm hoping is that I can just carefully place my units so they're all covering each other's sides covering each other's flanks essentially and if I can do that then I'll be in a position where I, I can cover my, my ground cover my sides essentially so I don't get flanked so it seems like the battles won like I say but for those watching this video that know about Men of War and have played it before unlike other RTS games you can just never be too sure the enemy AI works in such a way in this game where you can't really predict what it's going to do sometimes out of nowhere it will launch some kind of mass reinforced counter strike on you counter attack and uh, you'll find your units getting taken out one by one so as you can see here I've opened up with the Hummel and I'm trying to engage that T-34 so relatively strong Russian presence perhaps more so than I was expecting in fact so the infantry are rolling forward so what I need to do is try and hold those infantry back because if they get too near my tanks they're gonna take them out with anti-tank rockets and perhaps even TNT so I cannot afford to let those Russian troops get too close to my Jag Tiger and Hummel they are getting dangerously close even now though so what I need to do is roll that Flak 38 forward and try and engage them with that that's been a very effective unit all through this, this battle and I'm pulling back my Jag Tiger and even the Hummels having a go here some very close range artillery strikes so I need to pull back my Jag Tiger even further I'm being very cautious here but I just don't want to lose that, that vehicle so my uh, lightweight Panther here can also come into its own because it's got the machine gun So 
so there we go pretty much a massacre but it had to be done because they were getting too close to my vehicles and they're still coming by the looks of it oh they seem to be on the retreat now I don't blame them so there's some heat rounds going in that's very effective against infantry so the Hummel is going to take another shot at these trucks, these supply trucks direct hit there, flawless hit, perfect and that's one dead Russian truck I can bring my Jag Tiger slightly closer now because the Russian troops have retreated what's left of them have and what I want to do as a priority here is engage that Russian T-34 because I don't want to end up seeing the Hummel get hit There's still some infantry on that left side, so the Flak 38 should uh, should finish the job there, mop them up. There we go. So, like I say, I'm going to try and engage this T-34 with the Jag. Direct hit, hull destroyed. That's exactly what I want. So that's one dead Russian tank. I'm going to bring my Panther forward slightly closer now. Bring my infantry closer. I've got this reinforcement team up here on the hill, so I'm going to bring them in. Um, I'm not quite sure what I've got a fuel truck with them, they've just linked units so I've split that link and I'm just rolling the infantry in now without that truck. So there's more Russian troops trying to converge on me, so I need to try and stop them from getting closer. And the Hummel, again, I'm going to attempt to direct hit on their position almost stirred them up so the Jag Tiger I'm going to attempt looks like there's a second Russian tank there just behind that tree didn't spot that initially so the Jag Tiger is going to attempt to engage that I haven't identified what it is yet but it's probably a uh, second T-34 so again the Hummel is uh, opening up on that tree tree line to try and keep the infantry back that was a pretty devastating strike there, I killed at least five infantry so the, yep and here's my German troops, they're opening up on them just defending our, uh, our front line Looks like my track's been damaged for the Jag Tiger, that's worrying. Um, I think that may have been a hit from one of the uh, Russian infantry troops, an anti tank strike on the on the uh on the uh tracks. And also this yeah, that's a T thirty four which is opening up my Jag Tiger, so that, that has to be dealt with as a priority now. I'm not sure what happened there. and my Jag Tiger is still taking direct hits all oh, track, track damage, that's enough a hit from there's some Russian troops in that bush just in front of the Jag Tiger I think my Panther is engaged and no the Panther on the right side there is just taking those out but that was pretty hairy and um, that's the closest my Jag Tiger has been to, uh, to a significant threat or battle really just a Hummel attempts a shot so this is going to be my real attempt now to take out that T-34 missed with that shot what I need to do is still make sure these Russian troops don't get any nearer it looks like a lot of my German troops have been taken out now on that right side or that or they've retreated so my Jag Tiger is immobile now um, the track's damaged, so I can't move that any closer to the battle. So I actually now am in a position where I'm relying on my Panther, my Panzer even, my uh, lightweight Panzer tank. So this T-34 is a bit of a problem. Um, it's in a very good position there, hiding behind that bush. So I just haven't quite got an angle on it. But direct hit, 
there we go and that was a you can't ask for much more than that that was a full-on direct hit there look at that utter devastation but that was a good position for that tank it was nice and camouflaged nice and hidden and the Hummel still opening up so like I said earlier um, I should now be in a position where I can move forward but I have to be cautious because there are still a number of Russian troops lurking in those bushes and any one of them can is essentially it can be a threat this could be a good hit uh, not quite accurate enough what I've spotted there though is there is a further Russian Katusha truck in that corner so I need to watch out for that again still under threat here from these uh, Soviet troops and I am in a position now where I can move forward ever so slightly I'm going to bring the Hummel a bit closer I think that this is worrying the Katusha is now on the move that was blatantly not going to hit it um, I can't remember what I do here I think I've still got that Flak 38 I can use I'm going to attempt to take out that truck though first because there's further Russian infantry in that and if I can get a hit on it then that's saved me a whole lot of hassle I think you don't see it on screen unfortunately but I think what happens here is the Katusha truck I mentioned earlier that was a horrible miss and that means that the infantry are all going to get out now that's not good like I say the Katusha tr uh, the truck actually did open up on my Hummel but you didn't see it but that was bad news for me because it looks like the Hummel has now been not destroyed but the crew's been killed and as you can see the uh, craters there from the Katusha strike so the Hummel is essentially out of the game now because the crew's out of the game um, and I don't really have enough infantry left to, to man that Hummel so the battle really now has fallen on my Panzer and my half track with the Flak 38 which I didn't expect but that just seems to be how this battle's played out so what I need to do is take out that Katusha truck as a priority the problem with the Slack 38 is it's got a very limited arc of fire, so I have to bring it directly in front of the Katusha to get the angle I want. High risk gamble this, and it didn't pay off, <laughs> as you can see, but the Katusha also was destroyed in that explosion. I think it fired too close to itself there, and there was a nice chain reaction and a lot of dead bodies as a result. So it now all falls back to this lone Panzer tank and the Russian troops as you can see I've tried to get as close to it as possible but I've just chewed them up with HE rounds and machine gun fire and they're now hiding in craters not a lot they can do really however I am aware of the fact that if they get close enough they can start throwing grenades at me um, and they may even have some anti-tank rockets they can use so I have to be cautious here um, if I lose this tank I will pretty much be in a position where I can't engage them anymore because I don't have enough infantry left and it will be a bit of a stalemate and I'll probably have to just accept that I'm not going to complete my objective here of wiping them off the map entirely but I'm still hopeful and I've got these reinforcements I can move in a mixture of crew members and the odd random infantryman that's found himself in mixed units there's a Russian sniper there that I just dealt with with that tank shot I could tell from the sound of the gun that was a, a Russian sniper rifle I'm kind of bringing everything I can forward now kind of a last ditch attempt to finally clear the map of these remnants So I feel I can roll my tank forward. I'm comfortable. I can gain some ground now. And as you can see, there's one. Well, there's two remaining trucks. One of them seems to be empty, and then there's one there with some repair kits that I can engage. But I first have to 
finally cleared his infantry off the map, off the field. I can take up that truck now. Boom. And I'm going to try and take up that second one. There we go. Decisive stuff. So that looks like it's pretty much wrapped up now. Um, there looks like there's it looks like there's one remaining Russian soldier there, which I think that may be slightly bugged out or something like that. But he doesn't seem to be responding, so I'm going to just finish him off, and then I have finally conquered the Russians on this map. It's been a close battle. Um, I lost a lot of units. Um, the Jag Tiger, as I say, wasn't lost, but it was damaged, and it it really did all fall back on my medium strength units such as the Panther tank and half track to finally win that battle. Just goes to show though you can't always rely on your heavy units. Um they all rely on each other. So very close battle, um but it was a victory for the Germans in the end. Um had a lot of fun with that battle and like I say, it doesn't always play out that way. I've played it in the past and the Germans have been utterly repelled and had to defend that hill that they initially come from at the start of the map. So as you can see, just falling back here all the way to the start of the map where the uh, initial conflict occurred. Anyway, stay tuned. I'll be putting out more Men of War videos in the future.